hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is Dre white thank you so much for stopping by please if this is the first time you're checking on my channel kindly hit on that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video thank you so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to draft a bishop collar on a civil wedding dress so i have this fabric here i've been working with so now i'm going to be showing you how we're going to be drafting the collar for this particular dress i have here so the first thing i'm going to do is to take the measurement of the neckline so we're going to be taking the measurement of this neckline you're going to place your tape the way i'm placing it now and measure what you have on the neckline so after measuring it what i have on this neckline is 16 inches so our advice you take the measurement like two times to be very sure of what you have so you're going to place your tape on the neckline like twice and take the measurement to be very sure of what you have on the neckline so so the next thing we're going to do is to get our pattern paper we're going to be using our pattern paper in cutting the collar so i get my pattern paper i'm going to be folding this pattern paper in a bias form so if you have your steel it's better you can just cut direct on your collar steel you can cut direct on your collar steel but i'm going to be cutting firstly on the pattern paper for just for illustration purpose so now you fold your pattern paper in a bias form just like you see me doing fold this in a triangular form and after folding it you are going to be taking what we have on that neckline so what i have is 16 inches 16 inches i'm going to be working with 16 inches so divide 16 by 2 when i divide 16 by 2 i'm going to be getting 8 inches so i'm going to place my tape on my pattern paper like so to get the 8 inches i need so as you can see i've gotten the 8 inches i'll put a mark there so from that mark i have there i'm going to take it to the top of my paper till the way i'm placing my tape so i'm taking it to the top of my paper and from there i'm going to be going round from my hand is still on on that top at the top of the paper so i'm taking it round whatever figure i have there i'm taking it round till i get to the other point where i have the what eight inches so after getting it i'm going to get my curve and connect what i have there so now we have gotten the curve of what we want for our color so the next thing i'm going to do is to determine how high i want this color to be so you can have it 1.5 or 1 inch so i'm going to be going for one inch so i'm taking one inch from that point where i have the eight inches the curve there i'm taking my one inch brown till i get to the other end so at this point i'm going to be curving what i have there you can use your free hand or you can decide to use your curve to make it what smoother so this is me using my curve to connect all the lines i have there so after connecting my curve at this point so i'm going to be placing my curve and i'll be curving the end of my paper so after curving it i will get my scissors and i will be cutting it out okay so i'm cutting out the collar now and this is what we have for our bishop collar so this is it this is how easy it is to cut your bishop collar so i've cut it out and i'll open it up so this is what we have for our collar so i'm going to be using this paper to cut on my stay exactly on my stay i'm going to be using to cut on my stay and after cutting on my stay i'll place it on my fabric i've cut out my collar stay and this is what we have now so i'm going to be cutting it out the way i want it following the curve leaving out some inches 
so i have cut out my color stay and this is what i have so you're going to be cutting to piece of the fabric that we'll be using for the collar so after cutting it out i'm going to use my iron to press that steel down to iron that steel to the fabric so after ironing it i'm going to fold one pick one of it you see the way i'm picking it so i'll pick one of it and fold it in and i will press on it so at this point i've ironed down my stay and i'm going to be pinning what i have i've pinned it down already you'll be leaving out half an inch to fold in the collar so you'll be leaving out half an inch so now the next thing we are going to do so i'm trying to cut out the ss fabric that we have what i need is just half an inch to fold the collar in Okay, so i finished cutting out the excess so now what we are going to do i'm going to be sewing see where i'm placing my my pencil i'm going to be sewing from the tip of the collar following the collar stay so i'm going to be sewing on it this way sewing on it till i get to the other end from one tip to the other word tip of the collar and when i get to that end i will stop trim out the excess that i have and i'm going to be folding in the collar so this is what we have for the collar i folded it in can you see how neatly it is it's looking so i folded it in and i've left out half an inch we are going to be using so at this point i'm going to get the fabric i'm working with so now we're going to be placing our collar from the wrong side of the fabric from the inside of the fabric i'm placing my collar so I'm going to be sewing down on that half inch that I left. And after sewing it, you are going to tuck it in the half inch you have sewn and sew the top of the collar. And after doing that, I will show you what the collar finally looks like. All right. So here is our collar, a bishop collar on a civil wedding dress. This is how lovely it is looking so rounded on the neckline. So this is how neat it is can you see it how neat it is looking it's actually very easy and simple to make a bishop collar so guys if you find this tutorial helpful please don't forget to hit on that subscribe button and turn on your channel bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video please like and share this video make your comment till our next tutorial again we'll be doing something next thank you so much for watching bye